One of the things that's bound GEDCO together over the years is such a strong sense of vision and social justice. It's the commitment to the mission uh, that everybody has and the enthusiasm people have for recruiting other people to be a part of that mission. In the 20 years that GEDCO has been around, it's, it's established itself as one of the premier um, caregivers in Baltimore City. It is an extremely broad, diverse, magnificent array of people and organizations that come together to support this wonderful effort. Concerns came to the ministers of the area of needs that members had. Uh, seniors who had no one to care for them, uh, seniors who were caring for individuals with mental illness. And that, that first pulled the churches together in an ecumenical group, gave them a real purpose to come together. And as we worked together, we discovered that we could do things together that would be impossible for any parish alone. CARES has really been a program that's inspired people and given people a tremendous sense of what we want to achieve, which is to care for people in as many ways as we can. I've been here, this is my fourth year. I want to be at a volunteer site where you know the people that you're serving and also the people that you're yeah. working with. Mm -hmm. um, so I've gotten to know the volunteers well and their clients that I know pretty well as well. So volunteers are very important to us. Any of us could be in need. You never know. People need help and uh, we're here to do that. Being the sponsors of the first greenhouse project in the state of Maryland, allowing this to be a beacon of a project to the whole industry for caring for seniors in the city and the state has really put GEDCO on the map in a very different way in that community of providers. The greenhouse is a new way of delivering long-term care to elders who are in need of skilled nursing care. It is a way for them to live in an environment that is home, that is like living in a family, while still receiving the medical care and attention that they need. At my age, I hope that if I reach the stage where I need that kind of care, I would be eligible to come here. I've kind of jokingly said, I may be the first resident. We need to continue to build on the programs we have, and we need to complete the Stadium Place vision, which is going to include apartments uh, up on 36th Street, and will include the Village Center down on the southeast corner then programming there is going to be important as we open the greenhouse and we, and we continue to build the program to provide services to those residents and all of those who are within the GEDCO community. So we want to carry the services that will be given at Stadium Place out to the folks at Epiphany House and Gallagher Mansion and Micah and Hartford House and continue to expand CARES, which is our frontline ministry. People at GEDCO take their values of social justice and turn it into action, just like the people behind me right now who live in this community and are planting flowers at the Ascension Homes. At heart, we are a, a faith-based organization. We are always looking forward to developing communities where seniors and others can feel at home. It's beautiful. I've been here since December 1st of uh, 2004 and I, I love it.